Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this second part of the video series, I will show you how to do UV unwrapping of this penguin model, in Autodesk Maya. So let's get started. So here we are in Maya. We have created this model in the first part of the video series. If you haven't checked it, please go through it first, and then come back to the second part, so that we will be on the same page. The video link is provided in the description below. Now I will arrange these layers as per my choice. And then I will select all these meshes, and then click on these three buttons, for center pivot, delete history, and freeze transformation. And now, I will select this body, and then isolate it. Then go to UV, and open UV editor from here. Or else, I will open the UV editor on another panel, so that we have a better view to work with. Click on this two split panel view. Now in this view, go to panels, then click on panel over here, and then click on UV editor. And now, it's time to unwrap this part. So select this object, and then I will apply planar mapping from front axis, which is Z axis in my case. So I will go to UV, and choose planar mapping option box. Over here, I will select Z axis, and then click on apply. Now then, go to edge mode, and select these edge loops around this area. Similarly select the edge loops on the other side as well. Now go to UV editor, then hold shift, right click, and then select cut. Go to UV mode, double click on this UV to select this UV shell, and then move them aside. And now, I will select the edge loops around the leg area. And then cut them from UV editor. And keep them aside. Similarly I will select these edge loops around the tail area. And then cut them from UV editor, and then move them aside. And now, for this body I will split the UVs in half. Go to edge mode, select this middle edge loop, then deselect the other edge loops, which we don't want to cut for now. And then apply cut on this one. After that select this UV shell, then by holding shift, right click, go to unfold, then unfold. It will unwrap the UVs. Similarly select this UV shell, and then unfold it. I will rotate this UV shell like this, to keep it straight upside down. After that I will select this edge loop. Then deselect these other edge loops. And deselect these edge loops as well. and then apply cut on these edge loops. Then select these UV shells, and unfold them. Similarly I will unfold the rest of the parts, by using the same method of cutting the necessary edge loops, and then apply unfold, on these UV shells.
And now I will turn on the checker texture, to see the distribution of the texture on the model. As you can see, these are coming out pretty well. This is because, the UVs have been unfolded properly for these areas. And since we haven't done the UV unwrap for the legs, that's why these checker textures are not looking proper in these area. Now I will do the UV unwrap for the legs. After that over here, I will select these edge loops. Go to UV Editor, then by holding Shift, right click, go to Move and Sew Edges. It will merge both the UV shells together. I will merge these UVs of the legs with the body. And then I will select both these shells, and apply unfold on them. And now let's unfold the foot. For that, I will cut the middle edge loops from both of these foot. And then I will unfold them. Now after that, I will select all the UV shells, then by holding shift, right click, go to layout, then layout UV. These distribution of the checkers over here, are looking pretty good. Now then, it's time to unfold the rest of the parts. And now for this upper beak, I will apply planar mapping from Y-axis. Then by cutting the middle edge loop, I will split the UVs in two parts. And after that I will unfold them. Similarly I will unwrap the UVs of the lower beak, by using the same method. And now for the eyes, I have imported the eye model which I have created earlier. And then place them in both the sides, and rename them as eye left and eye right. And we have the three parts of the eye for both. And also I have kept the UVs on top of each other, so that whatever changes I am doing on one eye, it will automatically update on the other eye as well.
And finally I will isolate the body and the beak together. Then select all these objects, and by holding right click, go to assign new material. From here I will choose AI standard surface. Then go to attribute editor, but before that, I will delete the history. And now I will select this AI standard surface one material, and rename it as penguin underscore body. And now I will isolate the eye model. Then select these two outer parts of the eye. And then I will assign a new AI standard surface material on it. I will rename it as penguin underscore sclera. After that, I will isolate the inner parts of the eye model. And then I will assign a new AI standard surface material on them. I will rename it as penguin underscore eyeball. And now the UV unwrapping part is done, and I have also assigned different materials on different parts of the model. Now it's time to export out the model for texturing in Substance Painter. I will now select all the objects, then go to File, then to Export Selection Option Box. From here I will change it to FBX Export. And then choose your destination where you want to keep the FBX file, and then rename it as per your choice, and finally click on Export. And now the UV unwrapping part is complete. In the next video series, we will do the texturing of this model in Substance Painter. Stay tuned for the next video. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.